Rochelle. I'm Rochelle. Thanks for joining us again today for Fangirls. I know we've been gone for a couple of weeks, but we're back now. Today, we're going to be talking about Little Women, Couples Retreat, and we're going to also touch on a little bit of Spouse House. Let's start out with a Little Women's Couple Retreat. Yeah. You know, Hassani did an amazing yes. activity. That was the best. I think he couldn't have done a better one. Yeah, it was really good. And it touched base on all types oh of communication. Gosh. Um Interaction. interaction. I mean, just so like, it much. It was really good. And and honestly, I'm surprised, but I'm glad that Brianna and Matt actually freaking got involved this yeah, time. Yeah, because they were like, I'm not doing this. And I'm like, working on this. You know, you know well, this is part this of working is part on part of it. And so I'm glad they actually took the time and to do the And this was the best activity. one that they could have done. They really needed to do it. They and really nobody did. wanted to be paired with Matt because... Nobody. Was they were traumatized the to be paired with yeah, Matt. Yeah, they were... In People fact, was dreading it. In fact, when he first made the, told him that there was going to be a flip, everybody it was the like, facial Lord, expressions looked like, oh my god, god. nobody. They would have given up the game. They probably would have. But Christy ultimately got paired with Matt, and she looked like they she won. been hit with a dead fish. Yeah, she got they his won. Name. But like, I think that they worked really well together they because they had to. Like they, but they both hate losing. They that both want. They're both dominant in and their relationship. That is true. And that so is true. it was just like they know that we got to get stuff done, and they're both used to getting those things, doing everything. And so they that, are. You know, and the and the one cool thing about it is, I think that their communication was able to be successful because Matt knew good and damn well he better not he talk, can't to talk to Christy, to Christy the way like that he, he talks, talks to Brianna. Brianna. And so like, there's no way. And so he had to adjust went. it. So you know that if he could control it that in that scenario, but he can, he control, can control it when he's he talking to her. He knows he can talk to mm -hmm. Brianna crazy That's because true. she lets him. Christy would have been like, <laughs> you got me messed up, bro. My like, good day. Yeah, so, so that was it was true. a really good exercise. They ended up winning the overall challenge and stuff like that, but they ended up winning the rum tasting. Christy was like, great. Like, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I got pissed with somebody I didn't want to be and then I get a prize right. at work for nothing I'm like y'all could have made it to where yeah. come on now and she's like yeah let's give that to recovery alcohol yeah so that sucks for her well, but she and, did a good job and you know I want to touch on one other thing Brianna and Todd yeah um, it was really interesting because of the fact that both of them are very needy needy people and they got paired together. They were last. They were last. <laughs> but they, they were... finally did something completed on their own. They didn't need help. They could stay on their and own. And they feet. knew that they weren't they getting help. help. Yeah. And so both of them had to physically do what they needed to do. Yeah. And there was Todd no one that was going to kind of pull it. He did And it. both of them struggled. And that's thought he was like, see, he's a man. And he can, and do, he can do it on his yes. own. He doesn't need your help. He, he's fine to stand on his own feet. Yes, and he did and both of them struggled. I mean, don't get me wrong, because I think you know, with Brianna and all, where always some she's in pain in her legs and different stuff, yes. and then and then Todd with all of his pain and his and his issues, they struggled, but they completed they it. They it. they hopped on in there. And they did it in good spirits, and and, they, it, and it worked. Great. And so I really am glad. And the other big piece that Hamsani did with that group was made them. The winners and their spouses got to go on a double date. So and it just so happened, happened to be Chris, Chris and Todd and Brianna and Matt, which was interesting. And the same night that they did that was Christy and Todd's anniversary. Yeah, so that was nice that they got that to was, do a little something. And the fact that they both were in their wedding. Right. And, and that was so awesome. So, and I think it was really helpful because their communication. I don't know if it's going to really be. It's not going to bridge the gap. Yeah, because I'm not. like, that's too much. The bridge has been burnt. Like, yeah. ain't nothing but ashes. That's left. like uh, London bridges. And like, you, know. you, it ain't. They're, I, I, it's a cold day in hell for they finally get back to where it, they were. I don't it think it happen. will be. And then I also want to talk about Matt's bullshit apology. To my, I just want to talk to everyone in the And circle. I want to say it right now. I'm going to leave my problems with me and blah, blah, blah. And quit I won't, lying. I won't bring them out in the open. No, you're just going to holler at him to close yeah, doors. Yeah, and not in front of her out. because everybody stood up for her right. and was ready to fight you for it. So no, you ain't going to do it in public no more. Because you didn't learn your damn lesson. you tell an apology, 20 minutes later, you back mm -hmm. at it. And I don't want to see no more of your crocodile tears Right, just fake. Can I say something for a minute? Sure. I wasn't going to say this, but I'm going to talk to everybody here. If I can put stuff aside and I can focus on this long enough with Christy to do this one thing, then I need to grow up enough to say that I'm sorry for calling people names. I'm not expecting people to be my friend or anything like that. I'm just going to say it. I apologize. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, no one needs to be talked to like that. I will keep my private my private It will not affect any of you the rest of the time we are here. 
and I'm sorry, and I and I mean it. So I am very sorry about that. I'm gonna do it. There you go. I appreciate that. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. I really appreciate you saying that. <clears throat> you have just grown 10 feet. No, well, I got to start somewhere, man. So That's I awesome. might as well start with the people that are here trying to work on. Fake. Look. Fake. Your Girl. apologies, they fake. Your tears, they fake. But just shut up. Now, if, if you are real and on the up and up this I, time. No, there is no this time. Matt is a liar. He be lying. Yeah, I never mind. Just be lying and then trying to make people feel bad because you can push out some tears like. Someone was drunk to Oscar yourself. goes to you, Matt, for your fakeness. I'm over it. Well, I'm over it. Good luck, like, Matt. <laughs> good luck. Don't, not even good luck, Matt. Go home! Before we go on, we're going to go ahead and just a little bit about Spouse House. I am just loving this show. <laughs> it's so addicting. Okay, so I'm going to talk about Tom. Tom, you are no good such and such. You've been putting Kelly mm. Joe on the back burner so long, the girl done burnt to a crisp. <laughs> and then you want to get mad because somebody else want to propose to her Wait and minute. make them their girl, number one? I just he knew. was hating the whole time they was at the wedding. He's sitting there steaming, looking at Ashley and, and like, like she a piece of shit. And I'm like, you had the chance to be with right. Kelly Joe since the show started. You pushed her to the side. You pushed her to the side. You pushed her to the side. Girl, and now you that, want her? Girl, no, dude. When they said, is there anyone that would like to not have this wedding or whatever that little yeah. piece they say. Speak now forever, hold, hold your, your peace. peace. I just knew he was going to stand too. up I in just, this tight soup half yeah. ass. Girl, I'm I like, was like no, don't do it. And I thought, Ashley, if he get up, you better yank him back down to that seat. I, screw the yank, Ashley. Move on. Tom, anytime somebody come in the house, Tom's like, ooh, connection. Ooh, Connection. Mm. There ain't no connection. He just seen another base and he think he could be you a know part what? of it. I he think trying to but build I'm, nothing. I have to say I'm glad that he finally made this choice to actually no. move out and stop playing. He didn't have playing. to be as rude as he was about well, it. He was yeah, kind of pulled rude. her to the side at the wedding. Once they didn't still at the wedding. Were he they? pulled him off to the side. Yes. But this is not working. I don't want you. Like, come on now. So she up here looking all sad and crying and carrying on. She tried so hard. He could have been like, she's a little doll. We I love her. She's and a little he doll. was too mean about it. It was too harsh. And she was just it was like, real harsh. you know, and she was like, it's gonna be hard for me to be here. He's like, No, it's hard for you to be here. I'm fine. I'm gonna find love. No, you well, ain't. But the sad thing is though. I think he was so rude. He I'm was sorry. rude, but I don't know if he felt like that was the way he had to be to get for his own sake. I'm wondering if he was trying to save face for self. Yeah. Well, enough of the negative because they was tripping. But I'm glad that he they they're not together. They maybe they're both going to get a anyway. chance. They both deserve a chance to find love. I'm going to tell you, I didn't think that I could shed any more tears than I did when I watched Naya and mm -hmm. Danny's wedding. Because it was so emotional. It was so sweet. And then when her little boy came in, it was mm. so sweet. I love them together. That, that oh, was I perfect. absolutely love I, them together. I, they, I'm pushing for them. That, like, their marriage make was, it. they are. I really they think they're going to make it. Because it was amazing. And with Jimmy and Kelly Joe. I really, it was really touching for that. It was nice. And knowing, be, and knowing that how her, his family felt because of what they he had gone really through before. They were really loving about yeah. it. I was like, you know, if he's with you, then that means you're something. That right. means you're something special. And we want, we're it's, happy to yeah. have you in our family and stuff like that. Because he had and a bad I, marriage before. I want before. them to work. Because yeah. Kelly Jo deserves somebody really who does. cares and, about and it puts her. And puts one. her number one. And that's right. And to switch her out like baseball cards yes. and stuff. Like, stop. That's right. That's true. So, I am so excited for that and I'm so excited that he did it in a natural way instead of doing it on the and he did it while they were playing cornhole too. I know and it, so was it was so like, sweet when they first met that's where they met and she it was, was like, amazing you know? and he was just like dude it was so cute and in front of everyone it was so cute not being sitting in the chairs and forced to yeah I it was, she good. genuinely got a natural proposal proposal it was so sweet now, here comes that favorite part of our show where we get to talk about the crazy things that fans say on social media. Okay, so Vicky Garcia 13 <laughs> says, Brianna, you married an asshole. If you don't want your business public, Get off reality TV. And girl, I couldn't agree more. Right. I'm like, how are you going to try to have some type of privacy knowing that you this is what television? your show is? 
<laughs> and that always amazes like, me. Like you about dumb, Brianna. And, like I mean, there is no privacy anymore. Everybody's in your the business. Day. I mean, and that's what's so funny when people are on a reality show. I get out of my face. I, I, I don't, see. girl. You done already signed the contract, boo boo. <laughs> go ahead and turn around and smile for the camera because you're still there. And you go to have your business on the street. On blast 24 I'm like, seconds. how do you say that? I mean, how do you do that? I don't want my business. And, and you on national TV with your business. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, come on. Girl, get with it. I'm, I'm like, like y'all, it's, it's man, amazing. Y'all it's so funny. Get to on my nerves. I can't Damn, y'all. They just, and I can't wait till y'all figure it out for each other. Good luck. Just don't belong. Well, they won't because Brianna will continue to go on. Matt will continue to, to not really cheat because he's only talking to these people on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, it's my strictly on like Instagram that's cheating, texting that's cheating. You do you and cheating. And then when he asks, the only one time strictly I really on did Instagram, treat like is when I kissed the woman on the or something. Girl, and he's stop. so cr- Dumb. Just dumb. Brianna, you could do so much better. And if you can't... But if you can't, I'm still be hating <laughs> on you because you're crazy for staying with them. I don't know. And if you can't, stay by yourself because, girl, you... Girl. You bad by yourself. Well, anyway. guys, thank you for watching again this week. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Peace. Peace.